Hi ladies, you're welcome back to another video. My name is Ngozi Adobe. I came about affordable, elegant fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. The lessons you could learn from Hida Bichi. In case if you don't know, Hida Bichi is a Nigerian actor or actress who is also a food blogger or a chef. Has had the dream to beat the Guinness World Record. And news had it that she has been aiming at it for over five years now. And she had been doing her grand plans and all. But we are going to focus on lessons everybody, male, female, anybody on earth can learn. Yesterday, I don't know why this video will be going up. Yesterday being Tuesday, marked it 100 hours she spent cooking. The lessons we are going to learn from these, there are a lot of lessons. And before I move on, not everyone will be Hida Bichi. That's the truth. Not everybody will be in the Guinness Book of Records. The essence of this content is not to make you feel as if you are not attaining to success because some people are successful but the world have not heard about them. There are a lot of successful people who have not entered Guinness Book of Records. There are a lot of successful people who have not made a name for themselves. They may not even be popular but in their own various ways, they are also very, very influential. They are very, very financially stable. They are, they are billionaires and they don't want that unnecessary attention. However, whatever level you are in life and you want to make progress, here are lessons I learned from Hilda Vici that could help you progress in life. The first lesson is planning. Look, when you fail to plan, you already planned to fail. As simple as it is. Anything we want to do in life, if you don't set plans, if you don't plan strategies, aims, objectives, how you're going to get that thing done, forget it. Hilda went ahead to make set things in place. She planned everything out from the time she will start the cooking to the time she's going to stop everything. Nothing happened by coincidence. She didn't just jump into cooking just like that. Ladies, how many times have you planned your life? Every day, set plan. Oh, I'm going to make my hair. I'm going to wash my nails. I'm going to set 10 minutes for social media, 20 minutes for this. Whatever you want, you want to do in life, always set a plan. Your plan is your strategy to achieving whatever you, you're set to do. Your plan is your strategy, it's your footprint or your gateway. In as much as nature can take its course, sometimes people can be sick, people even die, or something bad may happen. That is just what not everybody can control. Otherwise, as long as our lives are in God's hand and God is willing to help us, let's set plans. Try to set your life in a way that you can be able to achieve anything you want. Secondly, set goals. Hilda Bichi had always set goal in her life. She started eyeing that position over five years ago from what I investigated. And I discovered she had already started making that plan over five years. The last person beat it in 2019. From the moment the last person beat that goal, she had born the dream that, yes, I'm going to be the next person to beat this woman. From that day, Hilda started strategizing she started setting goals every day every minute every year she had something she would achieve that would lead her to that set goal of hitting the guinness book of record that goal propelled her to up her cooking game investigate in areas that she was going to achieve this and that view the lifestyle of setting goals where do you want to be in the next five years where do you hope to be in the next 10 years what do you want to achieve in the nearest future don't just live your life carelessly. Set goals. Most of us are just living our lives without set goals. We don't have short-term goals or long-term goals. Short-term goals are goals that are achievable within the shortest time, with or without money. Long-term goals are goals that need huge investment to achieve. It could be financial, it could be emotional, it could be physical, it could be mental, it could be whatever kind of goal, marital as well. Everybody can make an achievement once you are able to set goals. The next one is prepare for the worst. It's not enough to set goals. A lot of us set goals, but we don't prepare for the worst. We don't make arrangements should in case this goal fail me. Now, if she had to employ a gym instructor, she had been training herself to stand. <laughs> Look, this lady didn't just stand for 100 hours. She has been training herself to do that. Social media wouldn't show you all that. She prepared herself. Have what I call shoulder pad. 
save yourself from heartbreak. Should this relationship doesn't work out, how am I going to get myself off this? That is why you should not surrender your whole being to a particular person. Because if that person fails or dies, that means your world comes crashing down. So in as much as we don't expect any form of negativity, but prepare yourself for the worst. Prepare yourself. Preparing yourself for the worst will help you overcome the worst when the challenges get tougher, ladies. Next lesson is keep your goals private. Oh yes, Hida did not come to her social media platform and start raining all over the place. She did not do that. She had her goals in mind. If you have high goals, high achievements, things you want to become in life in the near future, I'm talking about long-term goals, you should keep them private. The only moment you will share those goals are with people you know that will help genuinely support you to achieving those goals. Otherwise, there is no point trying to impress anybody that you have big dreams and aspirations. So Hilda kept this to herself. I believe a few people in her real circle, maybe her mom knew about it. A few people in her circle knew and they were willing to give her the support she needed. In fact, you don't even know who your haters are. Some of them will go to the extent of ensuring that you don't achieve your aims. The next lesson you should learn from Hilda Vici is value friendship. Of course, a lot of people say, oh yeah, there are people that supported her as total strangers. Yes, but I believe that she had at least 90% of her friends among those people you think were strangers. A lot of us don't value friendships. You just feel, oh, it's only when you need something from people, you call them, and then afterwards you keep them out. Just be nice to people because you never can tell who can be of help to you. And when I'm talking about valuing friendship, this is on a general basis. I'm not just talking about your inner circle. You could be in a place for the first time, ladies, guys, where whoever is watching, and you just meet somebody who is acting nice to you. Try to reciprocate and be nice as well because you don't know whose help you need sometime in the future. People can always turn up to help you once you have proved that you are somebody that is worthy of their help. So ladies, value friendship. Next lesson you should learn from Hilda Vici is build network and connections. Hilda had a dream and she built network and connections in regards to her dreams. Connect with like-minded people. She wouldn't employ a fashion blogger to manage her chef job. Connect with people that share same interests with you. That way you'll be inspired, you will learn. Because the truth is that no man is an island. You can never succeed on your own because no matter how you think you know, there are people out there who know better than you. Build connection, network with people of like minds. And by the time you get from this person, get from this person, you learn from one or two people, trust me, you're going to improve yourself and you're definitely going to be better than you were. The next one is stay focused and be hardworking. The truth is that a lot of things are coming to distract you. Games, distractions from here and there, social media, family, relationships, you know, discouragement even from people you least expect. Ah, ah, do you really need to do this? It's not necessary. We start with something small. Distractions. Yes, but focus on your goal. Focus on, oh, I want to become a popular YouTuber. I want to make this. I want to achieve that. I want to aim at being this. Even if you don't see yourself making progress, just stay focused. It's coming from a YouTuber who could be less than a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand subscriber, or even less than a hundred, a, a thousand subscriber. But I know this is a message to me as well that I don't need to give up. I need to stay focused. And for the fact that you have failed in one aspect of your life, or I wouldn't say fail because as far as life is concerned, you are not a failure until you have written yourself up and say, I have failed in this thing. That someone is a YouTuber and it doesn't look like they have amassed a, a particular number of views or subscribers doesn't make them a failure. They could be successful in other parts. And even in that YouTube that you think they are failures, just give them time as they continue to be hardworking and not giving to discouragement, you'll be shocked at what you see in the nearest future. So, ladies, a lesson you should learn from this is stay focused. Stay focused. I don't know how else I'm going to let you know, ladies. Let your eyes be on your goals. Don't let distractions from anybody make you drift from your plans. Stay focused and be hardworking. Don't just stay focused and do nothing. Walk it day and night. Put baby steps, no matter how small. 
put baby steps that will help you achieve your goal. For instance, you have a mountain to climb and then you just stay and you are focused and you're looking at the mountain day and night. You're like, oh, this mountain, this mountain, this mountain. You will never reach the top of the mountain. But when you take a step, just one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time. Trust you me, with time, it may take the longest time ever, but you'll get to the top of that mountain. It's not just enough to stay focused. You also have to work hard, okay? Work towards achieving your goal. The next one is get professional help. Those of you who know me will realize that I started this channel about a year ago and it was a struggle. Started from my makeup, my background setup, everything was a struggle. But I will tell you, I'm still filming with the same camera, I'm still filming with the same light, but a few things have changed if you're very conversant with this channel. Why? Because I got professional help. And we live in a world where you can always access help from social media, from the internet, anywhere, anytime. You can get answers to your questions. You can also meet people one-on-one -on -one for consultancy. Hilda Vici did what I say, professional help. She got medical social advice, you know, she got professional help. While she was cooking, I believe she was not handling her social media platform. Somebody was doing that for her. She had medical team that were taking good care of her while she was busy doing what she is doing. Ladies, we are bent on shooting this content today. My life is off, but I will continue. So get all the professional help you need. So it will help you. It will help you succeed. I hope you find today's video interesting and you learned something, okay? If you do, let me know in the comment section. Are you motivated by this lady's achievement? Yes, I am motivated. She is a reminder that a girl, a woman, a lady, anybody in life can achieve whatever they want so long as they have set their minds to do that. Let me know if you like today's video. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, kindly join the phone. Hit the subscribe button. And sure to turn on your post notifications so that anytime a new video goes up, you will be notified. I love you all so much, ladies. Keep being elegant and classy. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.